Greetings folks. Well, another what I've made video. Right, what I've got today is five Carbon Mark IIs and one Carbon Mark I. Now, one of the Carbon Mark IIs and the Carbon Mark I are matching set. And I'm very pleased with these. These turned out really, really nice. Customer had been on the waiting list for a while for a Mark I and I contacted him and he asked me, is there any chance you can make me a matching Mark II? Well, lucky for him, I had plenty of Mark II blades here. So I did him too. So here's the Mark II. Check them liners out. I think that's really nice. So there's the Mark II. Green canvas, my carter. On the yellow and black liners. Green Kydex, olive green Kydex with, I put black cords on it. I didn't have any yellow cord, so I thought black and yellow might look a bit garish anyway. I'm a bit fussy with colours, I like things to go. So the Mark 1 next and that's exactly the same. So they are a nice matching set. And next up, I've got four basic ones. And now I've made these for stock for the Bushcraft Show. Most of the ones I made for the Bushcraft Show have got liners and different sheaths and things, but I thought I'd make some basic ones because, you know, they're cheaper and not everybody's got a lot of money to throw around. I know if you haven't got a lot of money to throw around, buy more, they're brilliant. But... It's nice to try and cater for all pockets. So I'll show you a black one first. Now, because there's no liners on these, they are a slightly sim slimmer handle. And to be honest, I quite like the slimmer handle. So here's a jet black micata with brass bolts and tubes in a brown Kydex sheath. I quite like this brown, it's quite nice. No liner on that and a slightly slimmer handle than normal and I quite like it to be honest with you. I might go that way. So that's the first one. Now you will notice I've got different colour cords on them because I didn't want to mix the sheaths up. They they all fit but I because I shaped the knife, the sheath to each knife, I wanted to keep them right. So there's the first black one with green cords on the second black one I've put fawn cords on so it's exactly the same knife just with different colour cords and then next up I've got two of these and these are in Natural canvas my carter. I got a soft spot for natural canvas my carter. It's it's just nice and simple and it's it reminds me of a wood handle but without the problems of a wood handle. So same thing on um, with brass bolts. No, there's no protruding tangs on these because I'm stopping doing the protruding tangs. Unless somebody asks for it, I'm not gonna do it because I just don't see the point. I like it on the Mark 1 simply because the Mark 1 has got a more of a robust blade shape. Like these are more meant for carving. Dare I say more of a professional knife so you're not going to smash it through logs because it has got that thinner tip. Yes, so the protruding tang, unless you ask for one, is no more. Because my... 4v1 with a white handle my user i didn't bother putting a protruding tang on that to be honest with you i'm not going to whack it through a log so that's that one and there's one more of these it's just got black cords so there we go exactly the same knife just with the black cords 
Right, well, the Bushcraft Show is next weekend, and uh, I got plenty of stock, and I got things basically from these would be 200 pound from 200 pound i think my top end one i've got is a desert ironwood rwl 34 bush tool and that'll probably be 400 pound so and then there's plenty in between now if i come back with a load of stuff and i can't and i don't sell as much as i've got that's fine because I can put it on a coffee comp or keep them for stock. So if somebody sends me a message saying I want something now, and they do, and I most of the time I let them down, I've got some stock. So I don't mind if I don't sell anything, everything. Be nice if I do. I can't see that happening because there's plenty of great knife makers going to be there as well. Right, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your views. And this will be in my playlist, my work. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Ta-da.